Hey, what's happening, Justin? Hey, man, how's it going? I am well. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm doing well myself. Thank you so much for taking the time out. Congratulations, and thank you so much for the legacy you've left with this character of Harper since 1999. I remember sneaking into the movie theaters when I shouldn't have been and watching this movie, and it meant so much to me, and I'm sure so many people. What I love about your character is this character arc, and is what every character is just written so beautifully. Mm. And for Harper, you know, as a Black man, you just want more. When reading the script, how did you feel that you saw that this is the way that he was going? Um, here's the one of the benefits of being in a, uh, a successful franchise, such as The Best Man. Um, there's a, a level of trust that is there. So um, I actually didn't see the scripts until very close to when we were shooting, but um, I knew that it was gonna be in line with everything that we had done prior to this third installment. So um, it was seamless when it came to uh, reading it and, and uh, you know, getting into character. It all made sense. Um, um, I trust Malcolm, he made sure that he had a, you know, when making the transition from, from you know, movie to television series, um, you know, I think he he did a, a a spectacular job at getting writers that understood the understood the characters, understood the franchise, and understood you know um, African American culture. And uh, I uh, you know I even to this day after it's all said and done and we've shot it and we're waiting for it to kind of premiere, I tip my hat to to Malcolm and and uh, and the writers. Yeah, definitely. Another thing with your character, I realized that. I feel like throughout this course, you've learned the importance of not only friendship, but brotherhood. How has brotherhood uh, kind of helped you navigate Hollywood uh, and the moves you've made uh, to get to this point in your career? Oh, that's a great question, sir. Um, for for people that are not familiar with Hollywood, um, <laughs> so much of it is wonderful. Um, but as you can imagine, you know, as good as something can be, there's always an opposite side. And there is another side that is very fake, very superficial, uh, very artificial. And uh, what has helped me and what has helped other people that have found success in this business, in this city, um, is uh, the friendships, the, bro the, yeah. the brotherhoods. Uh, and um, you need to have people to go back to where you can be reminded of who you are, reminded of what you're doing and why you're doing it. And, uh, you know, just the same as, as is exemplified in, uh, in the best man, all of the best, best mans and, and this, the, uh, the final chapters, uh, this group of friends, regardless of what they've been through separately and as a group, they remain stable and they remain coming back. And I think that is a testament to, to how, important uh real friendships uh are and can be yeah definitely and i spoke with regina and morris earlier and they mentioned you know the the job of an actor is to see uh different lifestyles through your character's eyes what has harper taught you since 1999 to 2013 to now 2022 what is the one thing you kind of taken away from harper to relax and to not uh, overthink things. I have yeah. a lot of similarities to, to Harper, me as an actor, uh, Tay Diggs. And, uh, and that's something that um, this character has kind of helped me uh, come to terms with. You know, uh, I think we both are plagued with the, the idea of trying to figure out the best way we can be the best as opposed to going off of feeling. You know, yeah. we, we uh, both of us, the character and myself, we were very aware of of, of um, outside influences and what we are expected to do. Do you know what I mean? As a black actor, am I supposed to be the next Will Smith? Am I supposed to be the next mm -hmm. Denzel Washington? Harper is thinking, you know, am I gonna be a Baldwin? Am I gonna, you know, be a yeah. Zora person? So, um, and it's easy to get caught up in that when you've been blessed with opportunity to be in a place where you know you have that available to you 
but I yeah. think uh, it's those moments when you really have to think about the things that really ground you, which is family and, uh, and your own passion and, uh, and you know, what you, what drives you as opposed yeah. to what you think is driving you. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Tay, my time is up. I just want to thank you again, the impact and the legacy that this show, this movie franchise and the show has had has, I love it. And I show the audience will leave it. And I hope you feel all the love that's about to come to you in December, even though I'm sure you feel it on social media already, but you're going to get so many flowers and I hope you feel that. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. All right.